Psalms chapter 141 verse 5 Let the righteous smite me It shall be a kindness And let him reprove me It should be an excellent oil Which should not break my head For yet my prayers also should be in their calamity. Barakatai right. Yahweh. Shah. The water Yahweh Shemel Shah. For giving us the apostles and the, and the elders of great millstone who deserve double honors, rightfully so. Shout out to Yaki and pushing the word and sincerity and truth from being faith based. Alright. And um, putting your good foot forward and fighting for salvation. You know, in this wicked society. Um, low winning is to build your fear up. Cause um, right now this um, it's almost up, man. I saw some some disgusting shit. You know, and it's just, this fucking place is disgusting, man. You know, I can't wait, but I have to wait for this place to go. You know, when it goes, you're gonna know it's gone. You ain't have to worry about nothing no more. These damn scorners, these scoffers, these bum ass, the two thirds, the 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 um, the Edomites, the the Amorites, the uh, um, I mean the the the, the animal the the animal Kurites, right? And all the rest of the goddamn nations, man. Death to this place, right? Psalms chapter 141 verse 5 Let the righteous smite me Yeah right Smite with that righteousness The scriptures You know You hear the word and, 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 it, and it beats those damn demons off you You know when you coming into this truth You coming with a demon and If you leave and you're not coming back You're going to have multiple demons And it's going to be hard it's gonna, You're going to be like a home avenger He got like a billion damn demons man <laughs> he left, came back, he got a million one demons. Them demons couldn't let him. I said, nah, you ain't in. Damn devil. Two third devil. Let the righteous smite me. It shall be a kindness. This kind. This is, this is true love. Huh? And let him reprove me. Yeah, if you if you doing something and the brother see it, he going if he if he rebuke you, you gotta take that reproof. And love him, you know. I mean, you're gonna go through things. You, you think it's gonna happen, right? You don't go fall out, get all emotional. Deal with logic, man. You're a man. Be a man. And let him reprove me. It should be an excellent oil. That oil, that's righteousness, man. Because the five talent, I mean, the five, um, five, um, five um, men that got the five oil, and other one didn't get the oil. They're gonna be the, the righteous. The righteous men got the oil, great millstone, which shall not break my head. It's not gonna fucking kill you. If somebody tell you do on off, for yet my prayers also should be in their calamity. You know, and you know, being in society, man. You're gonna, you're gonna see things, and that you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be a man and say, "Yo, fuck that shit, man." You know, so you can't be capping saving hoes. You can't be uh, trying to save individuals who really, who ain't about the truth. You, know, you gotta think about the whole for a lot. So lot. Let's see here. Because uh, so. in this society, man, these people, they um, they hate your guts, man. You doing something good, they can see that. They can see you different from them, and they hate your guts, man. And but they don't know how to address you. But they would like to see you not do nothing else good. They, they would like to see you fall apart, man. You know. 
that's why it's good. That's why it's good to be homeless. I mean, homeless is dub, wise as a serpent. You know what I mean? Don't go out and spur your business out. Just running these two thirds. You know, you might, you might, you know, you know, you might drink something. You know, you don't want to come back to you. You don't want to go to your job, but you know, drunk. You know, you don't want. You know, you know when you when I when I first start my damn job a couple of years ago, you know, I went to the, went out to the party, got drunk. You know. But I felt ashamed later. I, mean, I wasn't. I ain't doing nothing crazy or nothing. But you know, you just you know, they see you, they see you stumbled. Oh, he's drunk. Next day they say, Oh, you were drunk. You know? And then you find out, especially dealing with these two third women. You know, they fucking they really hate your guts because they can they look at you and they know you are an aggressive man and they don't want they, they don't like your type. You know? like being like your shot. He was aggressive. All right. This is John chapter eight verse forty eight. First John chapter eight verse chapter John chapter eight verse forty five. And because I tell you the truth, yea, believe me not. I mean, so like ye believe me not. Yeah, this place, these people don't believe, you know. Like I was saying in my last video, you know, you know, I, I come to work and I got this, this, this female, you know, and I ain't giving her the truth, but she got sons and sons come there. I'm like, yo, you know. She was married to someone like Ephraimite, but you know, he passed away. Now the shit that has happened to her son, that shit was crazy. But you know, I, I throw bugs at her, like yo, you know, you know, this is wrong, that's wrong. But she's like, I've been doing it all my life. And you tell somebody, you know, you, the Lord would, the Lord would get the men of these damn two thirds women in their life. You know, the Lord, the Lord ain't no joke. You know, and like I said, it says. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. You know, she she gets that she get that smirk on her face at me. You know, you know I don't know. I brought this out. I don't know if she's a two dollar or not. Or oh, but shit, the Lord. I mean, the Lord works in mysterious ways. That's why I brought this out. You know, I stay I stay in the faith. You know, and stay with faith, man. Because these, these two daughters ain't got it. They ain't got the name. You know, I always tell my daughter, I say, yo, what makes you different from the rest of the kids? What? She said the name. Yeah, how about, how about Yahweh Shah? You know, that's what makes you different. You know? That's what makes you different from the rest of these damn fucking kids. And that's what makes me different from these other adults, as I explain to her. You know? It's a beautiful thing to be different. And unique and peculiar. You know, no wonder I get I get one of those sit downs on that that work. And because I tell you tell you the truth, you believe me not. It's like you have a shot. He told him.